Hi teachers, it's me, Putri. I am excited to tell you about Cisco's new animated series, Global Problem Solvers. Each episode follows the adventures of my team of teenage superheroes as we tackle the world's toughest challenges. <laughs> GPS the series is now available in English, Spanish, French, and Hindi at gpstheseries.com. The Global Problem Solvers want to teach students about the 21st century skills they need to become future social entrepreneurs. Two million people in Malawi don't have access to clean drinking water. At gpstheseries.com, you can download free teacher's guides to discuss each episode in your classroom. This middle school has been closed since the storm. There are even long-term projects to get your students excited about being real-life global problem solvers. Airship. I hear a school in Arizona, USA is doing some great things with the program. Global Problem Solvers, let's go! Last year, we were presented with the opportunity to partner with Cisco and Arizona State University to bring the Global Problem Solvers uh, project to our school. Our teachers really embraced the idea and knew that it would work really well with our eighth grade students. So this will be part of the car where we put it in. We're really teaching them and preparing them for jobs that really don't even exist yet. This series is all about building 21st century skills like creativity, how to brainstorm ideas, and how to be responsible towards your society. So how is your product going to actually make the world a better place? I think team building skills are the most important things here and also leadership skills. I piloted the program of uh, GPS, Global Problem Solvers, for Cisco in conjunction with ASU, and I really loved it. The kids embark on a year-long project to find a challenge within their own community. They're doing things like creating their prototype, creating a, a business plan, uh, learning the soft skills that they need to sell their product. 7.6 million animals are in I've seen the passion in students that they don't necessarily demonstrate the more traditional class assignments. Wow! What a terrific use of the Global Problem Solvers series! Adrian reports classrooms in France are also having success. Global Problem Solvers, let's go! Ils sont 144 000 SDF en France. Donc on est vraiment, quand on travaille ce type de projet-là, on est vraiment dans le développement de compétences réexploitables et réinvestissables très rapidement dans le monde de demain. Hein, parce qu'ils vont développer des attitudes de confiance en soi, des attitudes, de, des capacités à parler en public, des capacités à s'exprimer. Pour vous, hein, quel problème vous touche vraiment Ce type de projet, ça permet de générer une imagination chez les élèves qu'on ne soupçonne pas dans un fonctionnement classique. Un technicien vérifie notre puits. Ce qui m'a surtout plu, c'est euh, la mobilisation et la motivation des élèves à s'inscrire dans le projet. Là, cette, euh, cette envie d'apprendre, cette envie de partager, cette envie de construire. Sac de nourriture. Et... En tout cas, les élèves y croient. Et c'est ce qui est le plus important. Et si on peut avoir euh, semé la graine de, de la créativité et de l'esprit d'entreprise dans ces élèves, je pense qu'on euh, peut avoir de bon espoir pour, euh, pour plus tard. We are so glad teachers from all around the world are preparing their students for the future with Global Problem Solvers, the series. You can too! Find out more at gpstheseries.com